The early 20th century, the world was changing fast. Cars, radios, electricity. But one dream was still impossible, to send moving pictures across the air. People imagined it, but no one knew how to make it real. Then came a quiet, determined young boy from a small farm in Idaho, Philo Farnsworth. At just 14 years old, he drew the design of an image dissector, a machine that could capture pictures, break them into lines of light, send them through space, and rebuild them on a screen. Teachers were shocked, but Philo believed it was possible. By 1927, inside a small laboratory, on a simple glass screen, a blurry line flickered, then moved. It was the world's first electronic television image. Philo whispered, there it is. History had changed. But the real battle had just begun. Huge corporations like RCA, backed with millions of dollars, tried to take the invention away. They claimed they invented television. Philo, just a young inventor with limited resources, stood alone against giants. Courtrooms became battlegrounds. As engineers and lawyers attacked him, he fought with only one thing, his truth. And he won. In 1934, the court declared Philo Farnsworth the rightful inventor of electronic television. His dream became the foundation for every TV in the world. Soon, broadcasting exploded. News, entertainment, sports, education, all entered people's homes. The world became connected like never before. During World War II, TV brought soldiers' stories home. During moon landings, it brought humanity together. With every passing decade, television changed how the world thinks, learns, and dreams. From a boy's sketch on a chalkboard to billions of screens across the globe, Television became one of the most influential inventions in human history. And it all began with a teenager who dared to imagine moving pictures flying through the air.